guys, Scott Wittemeyer here, Fang Ripa. I'm here with my son Nate. We are actually inside RV Reptiles. We're getting ready to do a rehouse of something special. We're going to show you in a minute, so you guys stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. We're getting ready to rehouse. And this is Nate. Hey guys. So what we're doing right now is he's trying to figure out what he wants in the tank. And maybe you guys can guess what it's going to be by what he's got. Or maybe not. So we got some cork bark, we got some reptile soil, we got some leaves bag moss and some fake greenery and we picked up a tank because our tubs weren't big enough and that's a clue and we needed something to hold close to what four inches of substrate yeah four plus so whatever we're dealing with here needs four inches So we've got some spag moss. I think it's already been soaked. Yeah, it might need to be wetted up again, maybe. I don't know. We'll get to that when we get there. So he's done this many times with his other critters up here. We got leopard geckos, we got bearded dragons, we got tree frogs, and underneath over here we have a, a centipede, and then down here we have two scorpions. All this stuff is bioactive enclosures. Um, so it's not our first rodeo, but we're not pros. Do you ever get to be a pro? I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we once, have fun with it. I think once you pass the 100 mark on animals, you're considered a pro. <laughs> 100 mark is that what we got to get? We can fit 100 of them in this RV. All right, so on you. All right, so basically you just want to take your soil, and this is a new soil we found at PetSmart. Normally I use uh, the BioDude substrate for most everything I use, but we found this just because it was didn't really feel like driving to about an hour away to go to a store that might have this stuff or have it ordered, so we just got this, and hopefully it'll be of decent quality. It's uh, Zoomeds. I've never seen it before, actually. Zoomeds new Reptosoil, maybe, for might be their take on bioactive substrate. I'm not sure. They might be trying to compete with the market everybody else who's making it going away from the coconut fiber but we're just going to take this and dump it in until we have about what we think is four inches I don't make a mess everywhere You got a ruler somewhere? Nah, I just want to eyeball it. You use a dollar, you got a dollar bill on you? On my wallet. Yeah, you need way more than that. Substrate feels very loose and thin compared to the BioDude, but it has looks like very similar crystals or Maybe water crystals, I'm not sure. It's helpful in most year, maybe. But we need a lot more, so I'm going to open up the bag. Yeah, that looks, that looks decent. So as you can tell, doing this for this kind of animal takes a lot of, you know, depending on the size of the tank also, but it takes about one whole giant bag to make this creature happy. Oh, did I give it away? I didn't no. say I said creature. I think you need to put more in. But you gotta put spag in there too still. Yeah, I might put a little bit more on top. Kind of gauge what you got on that other tank because you're almost there. Yeah, I made it up the rest of this hand. 
That was good. It's not gonna hurt. You can't hit too much. All right, guys. You can tell we went through a hole. What is this? 11 liters. I don't know what that is in real measurements. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. 11, 11 liters, or I don't know if you can figure that out, but. Hmm. So about a 11 Coke bottles, two, no, that's two liters. Never mind. Just ignore everything I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just the, I'm just the dirt guy. The laborer. You're, you're the CEO of RV Reptiles. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't really consider it that. Oh my God, it's an Instagram page. By the way, guys, if you're interested, you go follow me at RV at uh, lowercase, all over place, RV underscore reptiles to see some of the pictures, some of the animals I post on there sometimes. We really appreciate it. If you want to check it out, it's interesting. Alright, I think that's about good. That's all dirt we got, so we can't put no more in there. So, now we're going to take a little bit of this here New Zealand spag. Now, this is from the Bio Dude. You can see that. But I got this when I did the other one. So I still got about half a bag left because you don't really need to use a lot depending on the species you're messing with and this is still it's still decently wet so and it's been a while since I did the other one so I'm just going to add a little bit in here not too much because this species doesn't need a lot of humidity what it's going to do is kind of help hold his burrows together that he digs all the time because they are big on the burrowing aspect and we'll give it a good water down too to help some of the spag moss absorb any more water and we'll give it a good soak. So why do you mix it up like that? Why don't you just leave it on top? Because you want the, uh, the water to reach all the way down to the bottom of the substrate. You want it to be moist all the way through. You don't want, just want the top to be moist. You want it, especially with, depends on speed like him, this centipede, the scallopinder de honey, he will burrow as, he, if you give him 10 inches of substrate, he will go 10 inches down and burrow. So that's important because they seek out moisture. So if the top gets dry, they're gonna go farther down and down until they reach the moisture level they like. And so if you have spag moss all the way through, it really helps retain that moisture so he doesn't have to go that far to seek a comfortable uh, burrowing space for him for itself. So it just helps out the animal. It makes it less hard for them to live comfortably in their environment. Get another handful here just toss it in. And this, a little bit of this I might leave on top just to kind of help, but a lot of it I will mix in down to the very bottom and just get a good solid mixing in of the dirt and the spag moss all together. Now if you guys aren't familiar with bioactive or what bioactive means, it basically just means alive. You know, bio, it means alive, living. So you want it, and it just helps them too because the animals you know, a lot of people, you go to PetSmart or Petco and you see them just living in little critter keepers with a, you know, a sponge or a dish and no substrate. Well, this helps to simulate their actual, um, uh, what's what the word I'm looking for, natural environment. And so they actually have a more comfortable life. They feel like they can actually do more of their normal activities than just hide all day long because they don't feel comfortable in the little critter keepers. So it just helps to just make them feel more at home. Uh, more welcome and they feel more free to explore and roam and act natural so you get a better a better looking animal a happier animal and just a good looking enclosure also because a lot of the bioactive stuff also looks also looks really good what kind of water are you using just tap water uh it it depends on a lot of my animals i don't use any tap water i go to you know i don't i don't splurge on water but i like to use either distilled or spring just because it cuts down on the calcium. Because if you do bioactive, you will have little tiny micro fauna or microorganisms living in here. And a lot of times the heavier chemicals like calcium that some water has can actually kill them instantly because they are micro. And so any kind of heavy metal that'll sit on them and crush them. And the calcium is one of the big ones that'll affect the little micro fauna that you got growing in here. I don't have any here in this one, but hopefully someday there will be some in here and then it just, no, are you gonna add isopods and springtails? You got any left? I don't have any left now. 
I have to get some more. I put the rest of them in his. Oh, in Tiberius? No, in. Uh, oh, the. The honey. The, the scallop bender, the honey. Vietnamese centipede. Yeah, I put the rest in there because he had some cork bark that were growing mold, so if he needs some help. Now I'm just mixing up the substrate and adding water. That way the substrate gets moisture all the way through. That way there's not one level that's really left out. And for a species that requires more moist soil, you would really you would really water it down good. You know, to where there was puddles because the substrate will absorb it. But with this one, you don't. He doesn't really need that much. So, so. I guess we could give him one hint. Is this is a desert dwelling species? And there's three subspecies in its class. So, even though it's desert dwelling, it still needs some humidity. We'll do one last little spritz here of water, a little heavier one. Run out of water. Yeah, it's looking good. Kind of pack it down so he has something to burrow in and just helps his burrows stay nice and strong. And I'm sure a lot of you will not care about, you know, what your tank looks like. But me, I am very OCD about having clean, clean looking tanks and clean environments. So I will be wiping down the sides and getting all the dirt off of there so it just looks better for me. Is this a personal thing? You don't have to care about that if you don't want to. But that's just me personally, I'll be doing that towards the end. Alright, we got the substrate good. So, so you gotta put what, leaf litter or decorations? We'll do decorations first and put a leaf litter around that. So what we got for decorations? Uh, we got a little fake cactus plant here that Hold was... Hold it down here next to the... A little there fake we go. cactus plant that was in my Beardy's cage and then I moved him to Byron Active so then all his decorations went away. Uh, then we got a nice little, um, what... T Rex considered a, a, a crocodile skull, but you can tell that's <laughs> not, it's not a crocodile. That's not a crocodile. Um, so we may be putting this in there, getting something to crawl through, a little like All a right. in a, uh, I mean, little playground for the animal. So we'll figure out that goes. And lastly, we got a hide for him. Nice piece of big old cork bark here. Might be too big, but I figured we could break that in half. Yeah, I think there's a little line right here. We can break a little fracture line. Let me fracture it. So fracture that if you want to see if it'll come apart. Yeah, easy. You want the so, big one or small? Yeah, you need the big one. So, piece of cork bark here that we can use as his hide. Looks decent. Then, lastly, I know it's desert dwelling, so there's not really a lot of green grasses out there, but I figured who doesn't like green grass? So, we'll give him a little fake green foliage to put in there. Little sprigs out everywhere. And this, this part's really up to the personal designer. You know, there's not really a certain aesthetic that you go for. They don't care. You know, they're just living it. They don't care. Oh, I want, you know, the flower pot in the corner of the room or in the center. So we may just, let's just put this in the center, kind of bury it, make it look like it actually grows. But again, it's just all personal preference. People keep, you know, animals in paper towel tubs. So, you know, it's just, Really depends on what if you want to go for a aesthetic look or just a simple, simplistic, minimalistic look. That's fine too. It's just whatever. Another thing, another clue we can give them is this species is a good display animal. Yeah. So um, it yeah, gets so quite large. Is, if any, if there's anything you want to buy a sign for that says "Do not touch," this is this is one of the ones you want to buy a sign for that says "Do not touch." Like you know, you buy "Beware of dog" sign. They need to make a "Beware of Beware of this" sign. Yeah, that ain't no kidding. So, uh, alright, so now we're just going to see what looks best for the T-Rex skull here. I think I may bury this too about halfway. I would kind of stick it down so like, yeah. So yeah, it's like, it bare, yeah. yeah. At right, an angle maybe so it looks corner. like it's been on the ground. Yeah. I'll do it like that. Put it like that and then we'll stick this pork bark. Thank you.